I hope you are enjoying the learning experience with us. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy. Now we will study about the effect of shifting demand and chain effect. See, in the demand unit we discussed about the change in the quantity demanded and the change in demand. So the change in quantity demanded was due to the price was due to price and there was movement along the demand curve. which was the extension and contraction and the change in demand was due to other factors like your change in the e price of related good, your change in the expectations, change in the taste and preferences, change in the income level. So in this there was a shift in demand right so in this video we will study about the effect of shift in the demand on the equilibrium price see this is your graph here we are taking your quantity here we are taking your price I've discussed that your demand and your supply curve where they intersect is the point of equilibrium your quantity and your price now there is shift in the demand let's say your income increases your demand curve will shift rightwards you will be demanding more on that part so your demand curve shift rightward d1 d1 what will be the effect of shift in the demand curve your quantity will increase from q to q1 and your price will also increase to P1. Now, if your income reduces, let's say, what will you do? You will demand less. So, your demand curve reduces. Your demand curve comes here, let's say. D2, D2. It reduces. So, this is your new quantity Q2, and this is your new price P2. So ultimately we uh, come to the conclusion that if your demand curve shifts rightwards your quantity demanded increases and your price also increases. But if your demand curve shifts downwards, your quantity demanded decreases and your price also decreases. So these are the new equilibrium you get when you increase the quantity and when you so decrease your demand. So if there is an increase in the demand, other things remaining the same, it leads to increase in the equilibrium price. If there is decrease in demand, it leads to the fall in the price, equilibrium price. So these are the situations that we have shown in this diagram. See now we will understand the chain effect due to change in demand. This was here graph your quantity you take 
on x-axis, your price you take on your y-axis. Now this is your initial demand. This was your initial supply. This was your initial quantity. And this was your initial price. And this was your equilibrium. Now what happened? Your demand increased. So this will go from stages to stages. What will happen? Your demand increased. Now we will understand the chain effect. How the equilibrium is restored. From point E to let's say A. Right? Your demand increased. Now, if your demand is increased, this will put a pressure on your supplier as well as the price. I told you in the case of onions, if your demand increased, right, it comes here, what will happen? Your price will increase, right? Let's say your price has increased. Here, here you've got your new equilibrium. Your price is here. P2 is your new price. Now what happened? See, there is a chain effect. Your demand increases till here. Q1. But your new equilibrium is at here. That is Q2. Now why your demand increased till here but why your equilibrium is restored at here? This is your chain effect. I will explain you. See your demand increased and your supply. What happened? This affected the price. Your price got increased. Now if your price cost got increased, what your supplier will do? If the, we have uh, done in the law of supply that if your price increases, your quantity supplied also increases. So if there is a change in the quantity supplied due to the price, that was the change in the quantity supplied which means the extension of the supply curve. So your supply curve is extended from here to here. Now, this was your law of supply. If the price increases, your demand decreases. This was the law of demand. That with the decrease in the uh, with the increase in the price, your quantity demanded decreases. That was again due to the effect of price. So that was your change in the quantity demanded. If your price increases your demand decreases so your demand was here now your demand has come here that was your that is your contraction of demand so what is going on simultaneously if your demand increases this will affect the price this will put the pressure on the price to rise just because the supplier just because people are not getting what they are demanding in the market so what will happen the price of the product will rise in the market so, if the price of the product rises in the market, many people won't be able to afford that particular good. Those who demand it first, now they won't be able to demand. So, this will ultimately reduce the demand, quantity demanded. So, there will be a contraction of demand curve. And if your price is increased, your producer will be able to make more profit. So, your producer will be able, uh, your, your producer will be willing to sell more. So ultimately what happens, there is an extension of supply. So this is your chain effect. Now let's see it in line wise. Number one is your demand curve shifts. Means other than price, if the other factor changes other than price, there is rightward shift in the demand curve. Now rightward shift in the demand curve increased the price if your price increases there is 
extension of supply and ultimately if your price increases there is contraction of demand simultaneously your demand curve is contracting here your supply curve is extending here so you are at your new equilibrium and your quantity that is E1 again the equilibrium is restored where your demand is equal to your supply when your D1 D1 curve is equal to your SS that is your supply curve your equilibrium point is at E1 so this is the shift in the demand and its chain effect I hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.